Dude, check this out. Check this out. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my God. Catch him up. Come on, come on, come on. Work. <laughs> what? As you guys know, I'm not sure if I put it. I definitely on my story on Instagram. Catch them all fishing. I'm not sure if I put this on YouTube. I might have. I might have in a video before a long time ago when I first moved to this house. This is not my house. It has nothing to do with this. I have nothing to do with this, guys. I swear on my life, on my mom's life. Come on, guys. So it was a baby turtle in my neighbor's actual pool, like the pool, like the pool. You know how I caught that fish in a long, like a long time ago with my friend Bobby. That had, they had actual fish in the pool, dude. They had a little turtle and I wanted to save him, but I just stopped seeing the turtle. There's nothing in that room up there. I have no reason to go into that my guest room. But look what I see when I go into my guest room today with Timmy. Let me the key. Give me the key. Hold on. Pu you know what? Push push up behind me. Pass me the camera and then and then push up behind me. Like push 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 on me. Yeah, push as hard as you can. Dude. Dude, there's fish in this pool. Hold on. Like so many fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, there's two more over there. There's two more over there. How many? Look at that. They're just goldfish, I think. Dude, fat goldfish in a pool. Like for real, for real. It looks like this is some kind of pump. It looks, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Dude. Push, 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 I'm falling. <laughs> um, guys, I have no idea. Look, look over there. Look at him. <laughs> Dude. Dude, let me show you guys, okay. Guys, I have nothing, sorry, sorry. I have nothing to do with this, nothing. I, YouTuber, literally the beginning of pool ponds, like that made it like popular, all that stuff. You guys know me, you guys know me. I have nothing to do with what my neighbors did over there. Check it out, I wanna show you what I saw because I'm not sure if I put it, I definitely 100% had put it on my story with the little, like baby turtles. A lot of you guys follow me on Instagram, um, but not definitely not as many as are on YouTube, so come on. Check this out. Let me show you guys um, exactly what I saw from up above in case you guys, in case I didn't show you. I'm, I'm not sure, I feel like I did, but just in case, let's check it out. Come on. So it's the middle of the day right now. It's pretty decent lighting, but unfortunately it's like, it's get kind of cloudy, but hopefully we can still see the fish like crazy from up here. Like we just did a second ago because like an hour ago, oh, an hour ago before Timmy showed up, you can see everything, so check this out. Oh yeah, you can see, you can see him, wait. Zoom into that corner. That, see over, over there? Look over there. And yeah, that, that corner, see it? Zoom in even more, is that as far as it goes? Yeah. You see that in the corner, guys? He's literally, like, just chewing on stuff in the corner. But look, look, oh, wait, I can see him from up here. Let me see the camera real quick. Dude, check this out, check this out. Look at him, that's what I saw. I saw, like, I saw just those two of them. I saw one over there, there was two right where that one is now, and then I look over, and there's, there's so many. Look at that thing, here's some light. Oh my gosh, dude, that's a big one. Look, it's a wild water folly, what is that? What is he doing? <laughs> Yeah, I thought I heard it before. He is, he's here. He's breaking in. Guys, there's a, there's a guy breaking in. Get him, Timmy. Timmy, get him. Hey! 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 Welcome to another episode of Wild Wild Farley. It's your boy Farley. <laughs> Farley, look over there. What's over there? Look over, jump over, look over the fence. Somewhere? No, no, I swear to God. I swear, look over the fence, Farley. The fence right there? Yes. Oh my God. Look, it's orange fish. Yes, I know. What the heck? It look over. The, you could stand on the fence, though. Yeah, right. Look how many there are. 
There's seaweed. Okay. Look down, look down, look down. What does it say? It's, there's like a pipe or something too, what? right? What's going on? I have nothing to do with that fuck. Can, can you even believe it? That's insane. It looks like I set this up. Looks like I bought an abandoned house. Right? Dude, anyway, let me meet you down there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this is ridiculous. What are you doing? Getting a snack? <laughs> that sometimes. What is that in your hand? I have no idea. A dead, brother, a dead butterfly. That's gross. Anyway. What the hell? I put a raccoon video up. I took it down because it was just gross and that raccoon was disgusting. And honestly, I think I should have just taken that thing out. But, I would have. Dude, again, we're having problems. Check this thing out. That's insane. Come, over Come over here. But this is insane. I think, honestly, we might be having all these coon problems and stuff because of my neighbors. My neighbors might be doing like some stuff with like feeding the fish too. Because for me to get raccoon problems that quick, and honestly guys, this is like a really tight secluded neighborhood. There's no forest anywhere near here at all. You know, like my mom's, there's like a lot of like woods and stuff. This is just houses. Like I'm surprised that a raccoon was able to sniff this out from wherever yeah, he was. Sure it's the cat food. Yeah, I didn't touch this. I literally stuck this in here, right? This side is open. This side is open. It's dirty over here. And look at over here. Yeah. Take your time, take your time. I know it's hard to focus sometimes that fast, but check this out. Look at this. Look how chewed on that is. Look how chewed on that is. That's ridiculous. Can you see that? Look at that. It's insane. That's insane. And look at, look at this side. Look at this side. Look, nothing but bite marks all around. So. This has re been really, really chewed on really bad. So what we're gonna do is we're definitely- Cassie Cook, finally, raccoon edition. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take, we're, we're taking these things out. Yeah. Cause I keep releasing them. I released that thing like 10 miles away. It comes right back. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna get a tall lesson this time. So Farley has this trap, guys. We're Voila. definitely gonna catch this raccoon. I wanna see if we can actually catch it on footage going into this That'd trap. Sick. The That'd first one sick. had like rabies or something, dude. It was like bleeding, That's definitely it. attacked by a dog. Yeah. It was missing his tail, all sorts of stuff. But what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna set up this trap. Hopefully this does the same amount of work. I don't know, it's gotta be like a, dude. Bro, I thought things were right <laughs> behind me, bro. I don't know what's going on with this property because look, we have pythons, 100%. That's 100% pythons. We have all these raccoons and stuff. I'm starting to think that. I saw iguanas too. Massive, massive. No, seriously though, there's evidence right here. Check it out, there's the iguana evidence right oh, there. Oh my God. Zoom into that for him, yeah. I got tired of iguanas coming around here, to be honest. Not that big one. That big one, you're not allowed to show releasing them and stuff, but that big one is at a nice new home. It's not dead. Seriously, it's not dead. But um, all the little iguanas and everything that come around here, toast. Everything that comes around here is from now on toast. I'm, not te I'm teaching everything a lesson. Pythons, iguanas, raccoons, any pests, they're all toast. There are so many species in this pond down here that I've been seeing, because honestly, I have never chummed up anywhere as much as I have, obviously, right in my backyard. Honestly, I don't even know what's back here. I've never chummed anything up so much in my life. And I'm really excited to see what's back here. And we can spend a lot more time back here. Yeah. It's literally my backyard. But what we need to do right now is get rid of this pest. So I'm definitely taking this one out. If we catch this thing, it's not being released. I'm sorry, guys. I'm teaching this thing a fat lesson and everything else. Just like this iguana. Oh, sorry, Farley. The big iguana is released. That thing's gone. But the rest of them that come through are gonna be nothing but piles of iguana. We have to get rid of these pests because honestly, I wanna fill this up with stuff. Farley, what are you doing? <laughs> Look, he's drawing. He's about to put a wild water Farley down here in the butt. <laughs> guys, let me know in the comments below what I should put in this bottom pond, guys. Because honestly, we have a lot of space in the larger pond. And obviously, we have tons of space, but shallow water space in this lower pond. I don't know if you can see it, but these Paku are becoming beasts. Now, I have Paku in the lake, I have Paku right here that are from the lake, and then I'm gonna keep trying to keep like all the albinos and maybe a couple of the bigger ones that we caught just because they're cool. So with all the predators out here, we definitely can't have small, small fish. And even a larger predatory fish would get scooped up by a raccoon, guys. You guys know those things are aggressive. Honestly, I almost picked up my cameraman and took him away. We almost had no Timmy, so and we're already at a loss for a girlfriend. So let me know, help me out in the comments below, and let me know what I should put down here. Paul's gonna help me out with this trap. We're gonna get rid of this pest. Whatever pest does come around doesn't eat any of our fish or anything like that. With our pop, with everything else we got going on here, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. I need your help. That was really cool with my neighbors. I can't believe that. I wonder how long they've even had that fish out there. I've only been living in. The, I've only been in this house for like a few months, but with TV and 
everything I've got going on, I really haven't noticed that. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up.